Welcome to WTDC 17 in Argentina. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today, Mr. Abdul Karim Somalia, who is the Secretary General of the African Telecommunications Union. Mr. Somalia, great to see you in the studio today. You see me too. Thank you to. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about the theme for this World Telecommunication Development Conference is ICTs for SDGs. How does this theme resonate with your members? Yeah, I think, you know, um, let's go back to first for on the past. I will tell you when I work on my own countries, we use at the beginning to fight it with the UN local to put ICT as priority. But at those times, most, most UN systems, they say, no, there is no need. But now today, people understand that, and especially the United Nations understand that ICT is across all the sector, especially when you come to African country where we have a lack of things like education, like health, like transport, like sending money because we're an associate where we don't have enough of banking. So all those things today, uh, we are so happy that the United States already put them that ICT should be used to, uh, to those to achieve, to reach those SDG. And so for us, we think that our member already embraced those idea. And all African countries at the beginning, they don't want to invest on the ICT, mostly we open it to the private sector. That's good. But on some area, we think that member states should come and help private sector to achieve to reach some area because we think that the ICT should be across all the sector. Now, the African Telecommunications Union represent a very wide range of members. What specific challenges are your members facing in integrating ICTs in their development agenda? I think, uh, um, as you said, we have more than 46 African country member of the ATU. It's not all the 53 who are member of the ATU, but however, we, the challenge for Africa is, is what? Mostly we're facing quality of service. Mostly we're facing uh, the, the, the cover because most, we, until now, we have to explain it clear that there is area where many African countries, there is no single signal on eyes of the, 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 the wide range core beverage is still a need for us and it's still a big issue. I know we're starting about universal uh, service access, but we have to accept that member states should continue pushing the telecom operator, not only on the broadband, but even to single to phone, we still have the problem. Sometimes we have the signal, but this one is not a good signal. So I think the coverage should, is another issue. We should continue facing that. But also we know that our member state will find the funding issue also is another is a big problem for us. What about uh, regulatory and policy reforms? What do you think needs to be put into place, especially in Africa, in order to bring connectivity and attain uh, the UN Sustainable Development Goals? I, I, I think uh, in terms of the regulatory issue, I think we have to say that, yes, we, we have a lot of regulation. We open all the, the sector for private sector. But today, I think we're facing another kind of regulation. Because at the beginning, we, we regulate too much ways. But today, there is regulation of the internet, I mean that is the data. And this I think most of our member states should be prepared to see how this regulation should be, as always people say that's the dynamic regulation. So I think we should open our, continue to open, and especially for those, even those new, uh, new coming on the sector, because at the beginning we have a traditional telecom operator, but today we have new a new uh, uh, ICT provider, we were not afraid to say that, but they were there, they were in our door. So it's us to see how to manage them, Facebook, Google, WhatsApp, all those new technology. We have to see how to embarrass it. We will not say that we have to keep away of innovation. And also with this new technology, we have to push our young people to be involved so they can enable they can create. So this, I think, is there is no way that we have to turn back on those uh, issues. 
And finally, what concrete actions would you like to see come out of WTDC 17? You know, we're still uh, here now at least uh, two weeks. There is a strong discussion, which we think that is okay. I think it's uh, 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 on the bilateral cooperation. We think that it's good. We have developed countries here. We have those countries here. But the atmosphere is good. But however, we think that they have to understand there are some countries who until now need support. Not only those who are coming for more, but implementation of uh, regional initiative. It's sometimes a big challenge on the ITU itself. But so we ask those member states to understand that, to allow some funding to help some region who need to implement those initiatives. So I think we ask them to look and to understand the request that we ask sometimes. It's not because we want to ask, but we think that cooperation should always be there. Mr. Somalia, thank you very much for joining us in the it's studio. It's me who will thank you. And we wish you the very best for the future, which I'm sure will be exciting and, uh, and very much uh, something to look forward to. So uh, we hope we, hopefully we'll catch up with you again soon in the future. Yeah, you are, we are always there. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you.